first page of my book, Poison by Pollution, An Unexpected Spiritual Journey, begins with a vacation I took here to Paris after 14 years of being confined to my Seattle home due to illness. Even though I was still sick and it rained hard most of the time, every moment felt like a miracle, as if I'd been dead for 14 years and sent back to Earth for a visit. Memories of breakfast with my French host family when I lived here in college came flooding back when I ate my first croissant in years. Today I'd like to take you to Pierre Hermé, the pastry boutique which recently won first prize for making the best croissant in Paris. If you happen to be sensitive to gluten but want to eat bread while you're here, your best bet may be eating a croissant because they usually contain the least amount of gluten. Hermé's Pastry Boutique is located at 72 Rue Bonaparte in the heart of Paris near tourist sites like Saint-Germain-des-Prés Church. He has several boutiques in Paris, but I'm taking you to this one so I can show you some of my favorite nearby haunts. Judges for the competition tasted croissants from 30 Paris bakeries. Each of them picked up anonymously early in the morning. There's a saying here in Paris that croissants are delicious at dawn and lousy at night because they tend to be at their best in the morning when fresh from the oven, unless a bakery makes them throughout the day. Judges base their decision on qualities of each croissant, such as whether it tasted and smelled like fresh butter and whether its flaky layers crackled when they tore into it. Prize-winning Pierre Hermé happens to also be one of the best-known pastry chefs in Paris, who specializes in elaborate pastries. His best-selling macaron, which we Americans would pronounce macaroon, is called ispan. It's a marvel of two pink almond meringue cookies sandwiched around raspberry jelly and a filling made of whipped cream, white chocolate, and rose essence. The Ispan has a cult following here in Paris. I enjoy eating my croissant sitting on a bench in the square in front of Saint-Sulpice Church, half a block down Rue Bonaparte. Part of the best-selling mystery, The Da Vinci Code, takes place here. By the way, Catherine Deneuve, one of France's best-known movie actresses, lives in an apartment overlooking the square at 74 Rue Bonaparte. If you're here on a Sunday morning, one of my favorite Paris haunts is the free organ concert at Saint-Sulpice Church. Many consider the church's 6,600 pipe organ to be the finest pipe organ in existence and their organist to be the greatest in Europe. Here you'll also find several paintings by the famous 19th century French artist Delacroix in the Chapel of the Holy Angels located near the entrance. If instead you're here on a weekday and you'd rather shop for a moderately priced gift to take home, you might consider the damask dish towels at Le Jacquard Français, located across the street at 53 Rue Bonaparte. I received my first Le Jacquard Français tablecloth and napkins over 20 years ago, and I've been impressed by how well the colors have lasted and how stains tend to come out more easily than my other tablecloths so long as I follow the company's washing instructions. Or if you're in the mood for a walk, you might enjoy strolling through one of my favorite Paris parks, Jardin du Luxembourg, a five minute walk down Rue Bonaparte, on Rue Vaugirard. I can take you on a tour of the 55 acre park in my video, A Paris Treasure, 17 Things to See and Do in Luxembourg Garden. Read the description below for links to buy my book for my Luxembourg Garden video and Pierre Hermé's address.